What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Study Hall here on UFS University. I'm Tan. This is Cody, Oliver, Tyler. Um, what Study Hall is for the unenrolled is we take a bunch of your guys' UFS topics as well as some of our own, and we sit down and we discuss them for your amusement, entertainment, and knowledge. So with that said, this is topic two of the week, and I want to talk about Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur 6 being pushed to not February 1st. Let me let me read you a Facebook post. Um, if you have not gone out and liked the uh, official the U- Universal Fighting System uh, on Facebook, uh, Jasco Games pushes a lot of their announcements, like uh, another announcement we're going to talk about here in a bit, um, out. And so I'm going to read the post. Greetings, UFS and Soul Calibur fans. The Soul Calibur 6 Universal Fighting System release is coming to stores quarter one of 2019. Yes. Our initial launch date for the set was planned for February 1st. However, due to licensing approvals, we are not able to give an official release date until Bandai Namco Entertainment Inc. gives us permission to announce it. Find uh, find more Soul Calibur and other 2016 release information here. Oh man, is this going to be another fuck Bandai? <laughs> they <laughs> missed the date. Who missed the date? Bandai? Jasko. Jasko. Jasko technically missed the date that they had promised. Yeah. Rest. But it could be a fuck Bandai thing. Yeah, it, it it could be, and we want to try and stay as positive as possible. They are they are supporters. Bandai is? No, Jasko. No, Jasko. Yeah, well, Jasko's cool. I mean, they might also hold the opinion a little bit, fuck Bandai. If, I mean, if they, they might. The reason. They might, they yeah. might, but I don't wanna I don't wanna cast stones. Hey, do you wanna do you wanna hear something funny? Please. Bandai also banned other games. Dragon Ball Fighter Z almost got banned from Evo Japan. Why? Because Bandai. Because fuck Bandai. Oh. <laughs> Remember okay. Nintendo when Smash Brothers didn't almost get into Evo? Yeah. Because it was fuck Nintendo? Because it's the same thing? Same idea. It's interesting. It's a, it's a fuck Bandai kind of thing. Bandai is like really sketchy. Everybody Japanese is really sketchy with licensing. Nobody likes giving out their own like product. But yeah, Bandai has been having some weird things. They had to hire somebody for their esports ordeal. People who know like what to do with their es- like with their video games and publish them out to esports. Uh, I know that's been going on with them. But yeah, there was almost going to be a world where Dragon Ball Fighter Z and uh, another game that they have was just not going to be allowed at fighting game tournaments whatsoever. That's crazy. So the biggest thing that I want to do to bring this up is I want to make sure one the good people are informed. And two, this is the first time that they've missed a launch date. I know they pushed uh, Street Fighter version of Dark back like a weekend, I think. But we had previews out. We had like all, all sorts of stuff. We've got nothing. It's radio silent. Mm-hmm. Um, is this cause for concern, Oliver? Um, Maybe. It just depends on how big the situation is. Um, Maybe there was just something that Bandai didn't like in the set. Maybe uh, Jasko sent them something, and they looked at one card, and they're like, oh, we don't really like that. There's something wrong with it. And maybe that got word yeah. of cause or something like that. It just depends on what the whole situation is between the two of them. Tyler? Um, I don't think so. Like, So if it if it is a thing on like Bandai's side, where it's like, oh, we don't like... So like the same thing sort of happened with Mortal Kombat. Yes. They didn't, they didn't ever put out an official date that, that, that Mortal Kombat was going to come out but it did get delayed a lot because like they didn't like the art or the watermark was off or are whatever you, are you saying NRS just like hated everything like, yeah so like apparently, apparently, apparently I think it was Warner Brothers but yeah yes, oh, Warner apparently Brothers was? Mortal Kombat was very hard to get through because of the little things that they had to keep changing to make it to get it approved and if it's the same situation here then like it could just be like some artwork like i know a problem for mortal kombat was like they used the the artists that they used they were like we don't like this art because it looks like uh, or so i've heard they said we don't like this art because it looks like it's fan art and we don't want that so like it could be something like that where it was like they just don't like the art of however this character was drawn so they have to now get a new artist to draw all these new characters and they got nine cards what yeah, for a character. Wouldn't that be a bummer? Just yeah. like just being an artist and just be like, look at all these cool things I did, and then just being like, hey, Bandai hated it, so uh, no. <laughs> yeah, we're not even sure if it's that. It could be. It could That's, be the fact of like it. maybe there was a mess up at the printer, or it could be the fact that like something like simple. some something crazy simple. It could it could be like like a myriad of things on the communication size with with Bandai. Yeah. That's this is like, all just speculation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we've heard in the past, yeah. and the the like. The main reason I bring it up is Jasko has not had a perfect track record when it comes to getting sets out. Last year was incredibly good. This year, we have started off 
with technically a negative. With that said, time will only make the sets better. Time time means that we will be a little more prepared. Time means that that like it was going to be a real bother to have have this set launch on February first. And then have to go to a PTC on February 9th. That was going to be annoying. What was the sets that came out last year that like came out, you know, like, as you said, they didn't have as many problems last year? What was the sets that came out last year that, like, seemed that they didn't have any problems? Because it really depends on, like, the company. When you're dealing with someone like Warner Brothers, like somebody big, Warner Brothers sounds like they're a nightmare to work with because they care about their image so much. And Bandai is a Japanese company that doesn't understand the world. <laughs> um... Japanese companies so, don't mo- understand. So the biggest thing is, is Jasco's very good at not giving out false promises. Jasco's very good at saying, hey, this thing is going to be coming, but I don't have a date for you. Uh, it's here in two weeks. Have fun. <laughs> like just because, just because probably because of how fickle these companies are, um, they said they s- gave us a date for Bebop and they hit it. That date was pushed back, but they were they were constantly speculating, hey, it's going to be the first of the year or it's going to be the end of the year, end of the year, end of the year. And then... Um, Funimation does Bebop, right? Sure. Maybe who's, Toei. Who does, who does Bebop? Uh, I think it's Funimation. I don't think Funimation owns Bebop, do they? Whoever owns Cowboy Bebop, you can fact check me in the, the comments down below. Oh, That's Mortal Kombat. Kombat. It's, def- it's Scorpion. That's Scorpion. <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> um, like, oh, we have a UFS poster. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Scorpion, you know. <laughs> but whoever, whoever owns that, we're like, actually, if you hold it off for like a, like a month and release it in January... It's our 20th anniversary, and that sounds really cool. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, yeah. And so, like, they, they were pushed back, but it wasn't because Jasco missed anything. And I think no. the, the biggest takeaway from this Soul Calibur thing is it wasn't Jasco's fault. Nope. Jasco didn't have anything internal that, that did it. They were very clear with their messaging. Hey, this isn't happening, and it's not our, it's not our fault. Hashtag fuck Bandai. I don't think that's a hashtag we should. <laughs> we should I'm not sure it's a stance that we should have. But um, Free Dragon Ball Fighter Z. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know how hype it would be to have that in this game. Oh my god, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Yeah, I played nothing but Cell, Cell, Gohan. Oh my god, Gohan, obviously. Hey, guess what? There's a whole game. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and where you could do those exact same things. Yeah, but barriers dumb. So, um, <laughs> the the biggest the biggest takeaway is I love the messaging that Jasco had. Mm-hmm. They didn't keep us in the dark. Mm-hmm. Which would be a very kind Jasco of. thing to do. No, no, no. They didn't. They, they, they said, "Hey, it's not happening," and they we gave us plenty. Of, they gave us plenty of warning. I'm pretty sure. Let me. Um, I'll check that date of this post. Um, this was January. This was this was an entire month out. They were yeah. like, "Hey, we it's it, we haven't got anything because we're not allowed to." And this this was the date that we set, and we promised we were going to hit it. Um, and due to things outside of our power, we cannot. I guess. What I was saying kind of about was that we didn't get any sort of indication of where it might come up. But again, that's, I guess it's not for them to decide really. So I guess they shouldn't give out any dates like, hey, it'll, it might be around here. I just wish that they would, they would, that, like, they would be able to settle with, with Bandai and be like, can we show characters? Can we confirm what characters are going to be in this, in the set? Yes. That'd be super nice. Yep. Just like leak as much as you possibly can without. Yeah. Without making Bandai even mad. even without art, I'd be fine with that. It's so weird when you're dealing with somebody else's property, though. Yeah, like they're so stingy. It's also a Japanese company. You've said that like eight times now. I know. I don't like Japanese companies when it comes to a lot of things. Esports is one of them. Okay. And they're notorious for being terrible about esports because they don't understand. That's why. I think that's another topic for another show. It's true. But it, it falls into this one. <laughs> it's relevant. Only the slight, only the slightest only bit. The slightest. Bandai's been having problems, so this wouldn't surprise me that Bandai's doing more problematic stuff for other companies. So they also didn't give us any indication whether or not they're going to push the other sets back. Though, they did right? not. They did not. I believe that that we are still on target is because there? this is once again it's not a Jasco issue, right? Yep. It, it's the parent well, company. Has anything past Old Caliber been? talked about yes asterisk okay. it is in a uh living puzzle game all of the names wait the game is called no 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 listen up don't interrupt me don't you you shut your mouth right now cody johnson you said asterisk and i was asterisk it's been talked about i'm explaining the situation <laughs> so there is a game that jasco is playing where they have given out the 
the nicknames, the in Jasco code names of all of the sets that they're releasing. Okay. In German. <laughs> and so he's they've told you all of the in house code names that they have named these things in German. So we can figure that out and then decipher what the what the clue is. I just didn't want you to look it up when you put you it mean, down. You mean this thing called Google Translate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've done that, but then like so like it could be a, it could be crazy like they called Soul Calibur um almond brownies because it's Jason's favorite game and his favorite food is almond brownies. Like that's that's how crazy these could be. They could also mean nothing. So like I know many a year ago uh, when I was getting a ride home from, I think, Gen Con, when I volunteered there, uh, they, Jason and Shane and me were in the car. I was sleeping. Alone. Alone. And they were talking about the next set that was coming out, which... What came out after Battle for Power? Indines? Okay. They were talking about Indines. Actually, that might not be true. I think Indines might have been first. But, either way. They were talking about something, and the code names were just like peanut butter and jelly. Like here's pe- They were talking about, uh, I think we should do this with peanut butter. We should do that thing with peanut butter that we were going to do, and I think we should do whatever with jelly. And I was like, okay. And that was just the code names. I'd spread so much false facts if I ever heard anything like that. It's like, yeah. peanut butter, it's Anna and Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, that's the next set coming out. It's PB and J Otter. <laughs> <laughs> that was a Nickelodeon show. Yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. I forgot about that. Show. I would rather be delayed than uh, than not, yep. and that's that's my opinion on that. I would rather yeah. I would rather be delayed than than push something out that that sucks. Yeah. I appreciate the messaging. So here's the thing: is that are we going to get like a month of Soul Calibur before we get the next set? That is that is hilarious that is an issue i already have complaints about how the short of a lifespan the meta is of street fighter versus dark stalkers yeah but like well not anymore but but i mean like, yeah it doesn't sound like a lot of people are happy with the street fighter versus dark stalkers meta right now because it's just like bland i think that might be actually just an us thing yep. i've seen i've seen lots of people online who are completely content we actually wow. had we we actually had a very long post by your current reigning world champion tim keith talking about the idea of a paint by colors deck and how that they're good for the game where I just disagree with them and, and like, like a really, really eye opening post. Like if, if you've, it's on our, it's on our is street fighter versus dark Stalkers uh, versus street fighter, which sets lamer. <laughs> a really happy cherry topic. Yeah. You, I, I can understand people liking both scenarios. I mean, like coming from something like DBS, being creative in that game was extremely hard. Yes. And but like magic is a little bit different. Is it? When you're talking about standard, is it? Yeah, got you there, punk, huh? Well, I'm, tr- I'm yeah. trying to think. Yeah. <laughs> Stan- <laughs> Fuck you, Cody. Right now, standards very diverse. Okay. Just because they printed so m- it's because of the fixing. That's why. There's so many fix there's so many fixers. Every color combination that you want to play has eight dual lands, which is insane. That's uh, that hasn't happened since the last Ravnica set. Don't bump the table. Just kept picks up on the audio. I'm just letting you know. Okay. It's is a bump of the table going to make your point better. Yes. All right, then go for it. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah, I I I get that. But I think we were talking about <laughs> before I started yelled at you from over the table. I think we we're talking about how um it's it's a different topic. Yeah. That it's 100% a different topic. Anything you want to talk about start the magic podcast. Yeah. Anything you want to talk about for uh pushing so caliber? No. I I think everything was just declared. It's just all up in there just knowing what the problem is. If they ever choose to really reveal the problem, hey, sure, but they probably won't, just so there's no ill will between them. Yeah, the problem's just going to sound like a bump in the road, and then I think they're just going to be like, hey, here's a set. Bandai, if you're listening, which I know you are, I want you to do two things. Number one, I want you to fix this problem with Jasco Games, and number two, I want you to go to patreon.com slash tcguniversity and sub at the $15 level. We love you. So with that, we're going to move on to topic three. I will not sell out for Bandai. I'm going to sell out for Bandai. I like that. <laughs> Dragon Ball Fire Z. <laughs> $15 if they, if they, easy. If they... 